Fair enough. Okay, we got a comment from Tom in the chat. Super chat here. Donated as well. Thank you, Tom. Uh, he says, can you talk about Horan Beamish's showdown at BU? Well, let's do it some more. Because listen, Beamish has a lot of experience on this track, had a lot of success in that shortened season last year. Remember, they ran that, struggled in that 5K, but came back and was part of the really fast 3K, ran 744. Horan is a level up, though, right? Don't forget Horan's spring season and how good he was in the 1500 outdoors and how he continued to push the pace and push the pace. I think Oliver Hoare approaches this from someone who knows he's going to have a super long season and somebody who knows that 5K is probably not his focus. So he wants just to get a good solid effort there, probably follow his teammate uh, Joe Kle Klecker around the track. But I'm guessing he's, he's really fit, got a 13-22 PB coming off an Olympics. I think he is he's the guy to beat here. I think he could beat obviously I think he could beat Kip too. That's not saying anything that's outrageous. But I'm more interested I guess in in Beamish because his season last year wasn't as strong as horse. Yeah, and just obviously we know these guys eventually they're going to be focusing on an event that's a third of the distance running a 1500. Mm -hmm. Um but I do think it's important for both of these guys to have strong 5K PBs and put strong yeah. 5K efforts. Uh, most of the top 1500 meter runners can run a good 5K. Jakob Ingebrigtsen can run a, a good 5K. Centra went during was running 13 flat. You know, I think there's just that element of in order to develop, which makes me actually think. Has Timothy Chariot ever run a 5,000? I'll look that up for you. Keep going. Anyway, find that out. But just in general, I've been seeing a trend that most of the top 1,500 meter runners at the world level, when you look at an Olympic final, a world final, you look at their 5K PBs, and a lot of them are going to be 13.0 for a 5K. And so I think Timothy Chariot Hort, has run. 1347 at altitude oh, wow. in 2020. So he's the admiration. He's the admiration? What's the word? Admiration? Admir is it AD or AB? B, admiration. Oh, aberration. Anyway. Aberration. That's okay. what I'm trying to come up with. Aberration. Sometimes you, you miss so far. Sometimes I can usually, sometimes I can usually get it, but sometimes you're so far off. I have to like <laughs> jump in your brain and try to figure out where it went wrong. Shout out to Colt yeah. for helping me on that one. Colt's listened to enough of Gordon Mack. Go ahead. Aberration. Yes. Aberration. So, but in generally, what I'm trying to say is I think Oliver Hoare and Jordy Beamish both recognize we need we need to get even stronger and stronger and stronger in the five K is a way to kind of quantify that. And so they're kind of see yeah. how strong they are coming off of the off season by opening up with the fifth with the five K. Because they can worry about speed later. Right now they're trying to build up the strength. And so I think we got a comment in the, with the matchup. The chat I think all the horse is going to win. Go. I think all the horse will win between them two. So we got a comment in the chat that says both of them are targeting for their national indoor records, which is around thirteen twenty four for both. So that's New Zealand for Beamish, and um, I'll show you for horse. Listen, if Jordy Beamish is you know low thirteen twenty, both these guys, if they're like sub thirteen twenty now, it's a pretty good sign for their yeah. chances outdoors. It doesn't guarantee success, but that's a that's a pretty good sign. Particularly Beamish, who's someone who, yeah, he did really great in cross country, but his, his track PBs are not in line. His longer distance track PBs aren't in line with what he can do in the 1500. Hoare has that 1322, so you can kind of hang your hat on that, although I yeah. think he's even better than that. Um, but both these guys are kind of similar in that they were NCAA slash 1500 meter champions but we're good in cross and had the potential to be solid yeah. in cross. You see some of those milers out there who go to cross and get 190th all season. Like these guys were both solid. Hoare was just the most versatile runner during his time at, at Wisconsin, 1500 all the way up to, to 10,000. So that's on, yeah. that's on Saturday night, live on flow track. Check it out. We'll break down all the races next week. It's going to be exciting. There's going to be some markers laid down in the early season that, that I'm really excited to talk about.